And commercial shoots, I mean, I find we, we kind of just went through the process. And like I said before, I didn't go through a lot of tips and techniques because I think, you know, just more going through the, the stages. And if you guys have questions um, or want to, to see like my storyboards or the charts or anything like that that I do, please email me. Like you, you know, get get information from Adam, and I'm happy to send you guys like the processes and the, so you can actually see. It's just so boring to kind of sit and cover right now. So we're gonna move on to commercial. So commercial is different because, like I said before, like when we're doing the magazines, it's really about our voice and the magazine's voice, and we have so much more freedom to create the inspiration for it. So we're really telling the story. You know, we're the storytellers, whether it's like completely our voice or more of like the magazine's voice, but we're the storytellers. And when we step into a commercial environment, we're typically just wardrobe. So, which drives me crazy. And, but, but what I found is that it's made me highly competitive and given me such an advantage is that I work like with the art directors like I work with magazine editors. So despite the fact that it's not my job, to do inspiration and research and all of those things for the shoot and to get involved with casting and hair and makeup teams. Because usually when, you're, when, um, when, a, when a stylist is hired for a commercial shoot, usually the photographer is already in place too, what I found. So you, the photographer part is, and usually the photographer has worked with you before because that's why you're there. Like most of the recommendations for commercial shoots are coming from magazine editors or they're coming from the photographers. And a lot of it's from the photographers. So, and then every once in a while I get commercial shoots like from, from celebrities sometimes. That's the other place it can come from. So the, I lost my train of thought. Why was I saying that? The word, oh right, okay. So when you start bringing in the research and the inspiration and have a full on presentation for the art director, so your main client on the commercials is art direct, an art director and possibly a marketing director from the brand. Usually those are the two people you're working with and making happy and taking care of. And when you start working with them the minute you're booked in, inside of a creative collaboration, they get more value for what they're paying you for, number one. You understand what they want far more than if you just took their inspiration and just shopped it. You know, when, when, when you're creating the story with them, you're able to understand more because you're helping create it. And so it makes the shopping, the shopping easier, it makes making decisions about what to get easier, all that kind of good stuff. And then you can also make like more color recommendations and really, really understand you know, what you're going after. And with these shoots, it's less about, with the magazines, you're telling a story about the magazine's woman or character or what the magazine wants to say. With these shoots, you're driving product. You're almost always driving product. I've been on a couple shoots where we're doing image, like imaging, like branding, you know, where it's like, oh, it's just about creating the girl. You know, this is, you know, this is who we're, or the guy, or whatever, or the brand, you know, we're just super cool, and I've been on a couple of those, they're not very often. Mostly, you're, there's something you're highlighting. So in the beginning, you get really clear about, like I did a phone advertisement, and the clothes were the accessory to the phone. So the kind of clothes that you pull to go to like make a phone look great are so different than what you're gonna pull to make like a dress look, I mean a shoe look great, like if you're shooting a shoe. So you've gotta be really clear about which product you're shooting and the art director's ideas. And usually the art directors, they do these things called swipes. And they're, they're the stories that they're working from. And they're usually, you know, 11 by 17, these long documents that have images or after images after images. So there's poses, like they have the exact model poses they want. And then they have the exact photography lighting. And then they'll have like one little page on styling, even though like we seem to be this huge big, we are a huge big part of the shoot. And then they'll have like a page on hair, a page on makeup, like that. So when you get the swipe from them, to, to look through it and then have a conversation with them, like I grill them. I ask them everything. You know, it's like, do you want colors? Do you want patterns? You know, um, lengths, fabrics, uh, winter or spring. Like, I just go through the list because sometimes they think that the storyboard and the swipe tells it all and it says nothing. Like, nothing. And you're just kind of, you're responsible. And like, the worst thing in the whole world just show up on set and they're like, oh, you didn't get anything we wanted. And you're just like, are you serious with me? Like, seriously? 
And so I have, I have like a questionnaire that I've created that I just go through with each client to make sure I specifically know, do they want long sleeve, do they want short sleeve? Because all that kind of stuff, the art directors usually have that in mind from an image that they're trying to create. So when you start to have those conversations with them, and then I put it all in writing. Because I've had it also where I worked with a really young art director, God bless her soul, and we had all these conversations, we had five conversations, I had everything, some of it was an email, some of it was over the phone. I get to the shoot and she's like, this isn't anything I asked for. I was like, sweetie, hold on. We had this conversation like five times. And I have the emails here where you confirmed what you wanted. And she was like, I never sent any of that. And I was like, looking, I was like, really? And it became this huge problem. And it was, like, it was with um, a company of England. And she, and I was, the, it was, this was the first time that I've ever been stunned like that, where it was, she didn't know her story. She didn't know what she wanted to do at all. So it just, there was no context. So she couldn't even, like, even with the clothes I'd brought, she was like, this isn't it. And I was like, but it's not what? Like, I don't understand what, what I'm missing or what you're looking for. It's like, you, you know, so it's really good from the beginning. And then, so after that, because we had had all these disjointed conversations, I ended up sending her the emails later. I'm like, look, you told me what you wanted. But I get everything clearly in writing from these art directors, so you know. And then you repeat it back to them. It's like, oh, okay, you want this, you want that. And it sounds like really elementary, but it's so important. Like having these conversations with them about what they want and the woman that they're creating and like where are they going out for cocktails? Are they going out to brunch? Are they going out on a sexy date? Are they going tango dancing? Like what is it do? I, I mean I've done that. I've done it where it's like there's a couple tango ga dancing and then there's a pregnant lady baby shower and yeah, I mean just the craziest things, right? But you want to really get inside of each situation so you know how to properly prep it and then also besides prepping it, just being able to do an inspiration that's maybe a little bit more elevated than what we're doing. Because what we do is we elevate brands as stylists. You know, we use our voice and our taste to bring things up. Because, you know, the art directors don't have this in-depth fashion knowledge we have. So we know that, like, oh, if they want to shoot a baby shower, that, you know, these colors are complementary. We think these colors look great. And you put it all together in inspiration. You send it over and say, what do you think? And they love it because they're getting more input that makes them more powerful and look better. Because then they also have, I mean, sometimes my, how, Adam, how much was our research paper that we just did for, um, how many pages was that, like 80? Over 90 pages. Over 90 pages. So the, nom the Nomad project we've been working on right now is over 90 pages. And they just, when they get it, when, when these presentations, it's like their work is done for them. And the reason, the reason I do it, it's like I don't do it just to be kind of like, I don't do it to be crazy or like over, we have to have it for our story. Because we don't have a full narrative about what we're doing until we've done all that research and that inspiration. We're just kind of drifting along without it. So it's really important to kind of have that all. And then you have the conversation, after you send them the presentation of the inspiration that you've done based on their inspiration, they can edit and say, and I learned so much by when people say not that. Like, oh, it's this, it's not that. And then you know, okay, nothing like that. It's like, oh, it's this one, it's this color, but it's not, it's this orange, it's not that orange. You know, you're just kind of like, really? Like it's orange, no. You know, it's like they get really, really specific because art directors, they, they have, they get these, they get, I, you know, they get really specific ideas and then they want that thing. And I mean, I've had two on commercial shoots get things made overnight. Like, a, oh, I'm trying to think of what else. I've had t-shirts made, I've had, you know, what else have I had made? There's just so like, lots of, um, I've had to do like, vent, remake vintage swimsuits. Like they found a picture of a 1960s vintage swimsuit and I couldn't find the exact one, the exact color, and I had to find a tailor who can make it for me overnight because that's what the art director wanted. And it's really fun sometimes too when you're working with the art director, art director and a client who has a budget to make those things. You know, and to be able to do those props. But it's about being a problem solver in a, you know, a problem solver in a, uh, God, what was I going to say? Well, and be able to be creative, you know, like solutions, like coming up with solutions like this that take care of them, and it's also fun for us, you know?